Throughout these tutorials, I've made mention of third-party themes that are available for purchase for Rapid Weaver 6, but so far we've just looked at themes that come with Rapid Weaver 6, and so I want to take this opportunity during this theme lesson to look at some of the developers that create themes for Rapid Weaver, take a look at some of the different styles and options and features that you may find. And really, honestly, you're doing yourself a disservice by not at least looking at some of the third-party themes that are available because there are many, many great, impressive, creative themes that can really do all kinds of things and really create a unique look for your project. So I want to begin by looking at some of the developers that have developed for Rapid Weaver 6. We've looked already at some of those themes, such as the split theme and the um, Tesla theme, the Afero theme and Allegro theme. These are all developed by third parties. And so I want to look at some of those developer websites now, starting with Elixir Graphics, which is one of the developers that created a theme for Rapid Weaver 6. And so I'm going to come to his themes page here. And what you'll typically find on a developer's website for Rapid Weaver themes is that they will first show you the themes that are available with a basic screenshot of what that may look like. And then when you click in to a theme, it will load a unique page here that will give you more details about that theme, including a link for a live preview. And so if I go to the live preview for this theme, which is called Rustic, then this is going to show me a website built with the Rustic theme. And so you can see immediately the unique style of the theme with the large wide banner across the top. We have navigation here with drop down menus. We have social icons that are available to be used in this theme right here in this spot. You can see where the title and the slogan are located and that a logo would go up here at the top. And then we can see the container for the content that sits in this space, this white space down the middle. So it's a very nice looking theme, very clean and very open. And as you go through the different types of pages, you can, for example, see what a blog would look like. And so we can look at a blog page that is built for this theme. And so we have the blog uh, post here on the left, and we have our sidebar on the right, along with our categories and our archives and tags, like we discussed in the blog tutorial. And so for the most part, as you go through the different developers' Um, previews, you will find most of the types of pages that are available with Rapid Weaver to see options and examples of those styles. So let's close that out. Let's take a look at one other one from Elixir. Let's go to the abstract theme and we will preview this as well. And what I want to point out in this theme is something called extra content. I mentioned it in the first tutorial in this lesson. And I want to expand a bit on that by showing you some examples of extra content here in this. So what we have is the banner. Again, at the top, we have this transparent menu with the title of the website here. And we have a drop down once again. And then we scroll down, we find the actual content of the page. Now, we'll notice a couple of things. One is that this navigation is sticking to the top of the page even as I scroll. And this is a feature that you will find in some third-party themes where the navigation will always remain available at the top. It's a lot of times referred to as sticky navigation. It's very helpful for allowing um, visitors to have access to navigation at all times. And so I really like that personally. And it just kind of sits here, transparent, and hovers above the content. Speaking of the content, our content begins here, but you'll notice that it kind of sits in its own unique area in this dark section opposed to the main content which displays here below in the white. And then if we scroll down we see a separator and what looks like kind of a separate content area down here. Even though it's white in the background it's separated visually from this content here. So what we have are extra content areas. This white space right here is what you would consider the main content area for the website. This is where you would put in your content. It would show up in the white space here. But this theme includes other content areas called extra content areas. One of those is here in the dark area, and the other one is here at the bottom in this section. Extra content areas are developed uniquely to each theme, and so they're going to look different from one theme to the next. Perhaps for this theme, um, we have the dark bar, but maybe in another theme, it, is, um, it uses a different background, or maybe it's even in a different place. Um, so from one theme to the next, extra content spaces may look different just to provide a different feel and a different style for the page. 
If we go to the Options button in the menu, typically a developer's website will include a list of all of the options that are available for the theme. And so, for example, I mentioned the sticky navigation right here. It talks about the sticky navigation and how that is available with this theme. And then next we see an, um, an item called extra space. And so this refers to the extra content. And this mentions that there's four different extra content areas available for this theme. And so we can find all of the options available in the styles of the theme in the listing here such as heights of banners and site title font styles, color picker options of all kinds. And so as you visit the preview sites for each of these themes, you can get different ideas of what's available. So that's a couple from Elixir Graphics. Let's take a look at Nick Kate's design. Nick Kate's also developed a theme for Rapid Weaver 6, and you can see he has a lot of themes to offer here. Let's preview this one called Iris. This is his latest at the time of this recording. Nick Cates is very unique in his style, and you can find this theme preview with a lot of different um, thumbnails or images that show different styles for this theme. So let's go to Layouts and come down to the Focus Layout. So this is going to look quite different than what we just looked at. This is the exact same theme, but it's very different. It includes this big scrolling area for images. For more advanced features, more unique features such as this, the theme developer would typically provide documentation that would walk you through how to set up your theme to do this kind of um, functionality. And so that documentation would typically be provided by the developer so that you know how to use it. From one theme to the next, as you can see, they can look very different in style. This is a blog with massive photos and text. We can go to different gallery types to see examples of how these can be presented differently from one page to the next. And so hopefully you can see that there are very, very unique themes that really provide um, different styles for very unique kinds of websites. So this can be great for a photo gallery or an artist website, for example. Maybe it doesn't work so well for a more normal business website but there is a ton of flexibility between developers and styles of themes from one to the next. This is Brandon Lee Themes, bltthemes.com. He also developed a website or a theme for Rapid Weaver 6. And this um, has more clean, white space, open look to the themes. Um, these could be used for business websites, for example. This has the sticky navigation here at the top. And you can see some examples of how content can be laid out. And I mentioned documentation or tutorials for working with themes. Brandon Lee has those directly through the menu of each um, project that he shows. If I come down to this one, EC areas, that's extra content areas. And so this page actually shows us where those extra content areas are located. So immediately below the banner, we find this one, which has kind of a different background behind it. And if we scroll down, we find the main one which is in white. If we continue down, we find another one, which is a lighter gray once again. And then the very bottom has a very dark one. And so you can see those kind of visually separated content containers that are created with extra content. And that's a feature of themes. If you'd like to learn more about extra content, how to use it, then please visit the add-on section here at Rapid Weaver Classroom. I have a section for themes there where I discuss extra content in detail and show you how to use extra content. And for that matter, I've got a lot of other tutorials related to themes. I go into more depth in theme selection. We look at extra content as mentioned. And we also look at some other items such as how to change out the banner images that are available with themes. And so I look at quite a few different options for changing out the banner and also how to use these slideshows that are available in some themes as well. And so you'll find a lot of other content about working with themes underneath the add-ons area in the themes section here at Rapid Weaver Classroom. And before I wrap up this tutorial, I do want to mention one other type of theme that is available, and that is what is essentially called a blank theme. If you have the desire to design and develop the complete look and feel, all of the layout of a website yourself, and you can use a blank theme. And there are several available for Rapid Weaver. One of those is called Foundation, which we're looking at here. This is a blank theme that is based on the Stacks plugin. So you must use the Stacks plugin, purchase and add that 
to Rapid Weaver and then use Stacks along with Foundation here to build and lay out a complete website from, from the ground up. So you start with a blank slate and build your own layout. And so the, even that is something that is available to be done with Rapid Weaver. I have an entire series of tutorials on the foundation theme. In that same section I mentioned just a minute ago, under add-ons and themes, you'll find a long series of tutorials on using foundation along with stacks to build a layout yourself. So if you don't want to be constrained by any particular theme, or if you just can't find exactly what you want, and if you'd like to jump into building a layout all on your own, then you can do that with something like foundation. So hopefully just looking through some of these websites gives you examples of the vast array of themes available, the different styles, the different um, options, and different features available. And so, like I said, please visit the add-ons area under themes to learn even more um, details about a lot of different items when it comes to working with themes. But that really covers the um, really need-to-know kind of items. And so with that, we'll go ahead and wrap up this lesson, and then we'll continue.